What's up guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Marcus and I help busy professionals lose fat and get healthy. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through a full fat loss friendly day of eating. And I'm also going to sprinkle some fat loss tips throughout this video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. We are kicking off the day here with a black coffee. So we got an Americano on deck. Delicious. First fat loss tip for you. If you haven't already, I would recommend transitioning towards black coffee or as close to it as possible. <laughs> you're crazy, you're crazy, man. Simply because when fat loss is your goal, the fewer liquid calories you can consume, the better, because liquid calories aren't nearly as filling and satiating as the calories from whole food. And so if you've got a whole bunch of cream and milk, sugar, etc., in your coffee, you're drinking a whole bunch of added calories that aren't adding to your satiation signals. They're essentially filling you up. And the name of the game when it comes to fat loss is feeling full, right? Because the number one thing that's going to make you fall off track is hunger. Now you might be thinking, well, I can just add things like zero calorie sweeteners and syrups to my coffee. And you totally can. The thing is with those items and products is that they're not very digestion friendly, especially the things like sugar alcohols. They tend to cause stomach upset, bloating, etc. And so I'm just not crazy about those products. I would recommend again shifting or getting as close to black coffee as possible. I just got in from doing a little bit of jogging or maybe, maybe it's pronounced jogging. Veronica and I are trying this new fad called uh, jogging. I believe it's jogging or yogging. It might be a soft J. I'm not sure, but apparently you just run for an extended period of time. And now it's time to dig into brunch. So I'm cooking up some steak and I'm going to put a tiny bit of oil on the pan, but I'm only going to use a little bit. Like I dip the fork in, sort of throw it down. It's like maybe a gram. That's all you need. And this is the next fat loss tip. Cooking oils add up like crazy in terms of calories because every gram of fat has nine calories in it. And so you can reduce the amount of calories that you're eating in a day super easily by simply being more aware of the oils that you're using via the cooking process. And one of the best things about this is that you're barely even gonna notice a difference, if at all, in the actual taste of your food. Something else to be aware of are things like marinades and sauces because they are typically loaded with fat as well. And fat is just really easy to get. It adds up incredibly quickly. Brunch is served. We've got two steak fillets here with five whole eggs and a whole bunch of salt. I might have a little bit of dessert after this, but first things first, I'm gonna have the steak and eggs, see how I feel, and then go from there. That was absolutely delicious. I am feeling great. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I have zero bloating going on, zero stomach distension. I just feel so good favoring animal products or animal foods for the vast majority of my calories. Steak and eggs is one of my favorite breakfasts. There was also a ton of protein in there, but 115 grams or so. What? And protein, fat loss tip, is the most satiating macronutrient. So you want to be sure that you're getting enough protein when fat loss is your goal. And as a general rule of thumb, one gram per pound of body weight is a great way to go. And as far as dessert goes, I am gonna wait just because I am super satisfied right now and I don't feel like I need any more food, but I'll probably want something sweet in a little bit. A few moments later. It's a couple hours later. I've just been busy doing a bunch of client check-ins and work. And now it is time for that sweet treat that I talked about. I am having an apple and a banana here. This is only 204 calories total. Whole fruit is amazing when it comes to fat loss because it is so voluminous. There's so much food volume. However, the calories are quite low. Now, on the other hand, don't go with dried fruit or fruit juices because they have far more calories per volume, being that dried fruit is dehydrated. All of the water and fiber is sucked out of it. 
and then fruit juices, same sort of deal. So you want to stick with whole fruit. And also I add salt to a lot of my fruit. I love the taste of it. Try it, let me know how you like it in the comment section below. And cinnamon is also amazing on fruit. The only kicker is that I have an oxalate issue. I don't do well with a lot of oxalate in my diet and cinnamon is quite high in oxalate. So I skip it. All right, guys, it is 6 p.m. now. The bulk of my work is done for the day. I hit 15,000 steps, so I got plenty of movement in and it is dinner time. The salmon's all done cooking. It looks awesome, as you can see. And I'm just finishing up the zucchini here. It is cooking in the oil from the salmon. So I didn't actually use any oil in this pan because there's so much fat in the salmon that it doesn't need oil in the pan. It does not stick. And now the zucchini can soak up all that goodness. All right, let's taste test this salmon here. Let's see how I cooked it. I cook it with the skin on because I really like the taste of the skin, especially with a little bit of char on it. Mm. Unreal. I cooked it pretty good. It worked out. Woo! Now let's taste test the zucchini that I cooked in the oils, the natural oils from the salmon. I topped it with some salt. Really good. It's awesome. Super simple, really easy dinner to make. One pot or one pan rather, and it's done in less than 10 minutes. Fun fact, zucchini is actually a fruit. Same with cucumbers, they have seeds, they are fruits. Avocado is also a fruit. We tend to think of these things as veggies, but they fall into the fruit category. Buenos dias, it is the following morning. And about half an hour after dinner last night, I decided to have half of a giant papaya. It was delicious. And I follow this animal-based-ish eating approach because it's been the most effective way to manage my two autoimmune conditions, which are eczema and arthritis. And this is how I keep them in remission and feeling, looking, and performing my absolute best. Now you also probably noticed that I eat quite simply. I'm one of those weirdos that likes to taste the food that I'm eating. I like the taste of meat, fish, seafood, and eggs with salt on it. That is delicious to me. However, if you wanna add more spice into your life, feel free to experiment with herbs and spices and flavor up your food however you'd like to. Now, before we dig into the total calories and macros for the day, I just want to give you a bit of context. I am five foot 10. I am 145 pounds. I'm about 10 ish percent body fat. I lift weights three to four times per week, and I am militant about hitting at the very least 10,000 steps per day. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. That is my bottom of the barrel minimum. So now that you know my height, weight, activity level more or less, let's dig into the total calories and macros for the day. I haven't actually tracked my calories or macros for about three months now. So this was sort of a nice little refresher. I think it's always a good idea to take a little bit of inventory of what and how much you're eating, just to bring more food awareness and mindfulness to what you are actually taking in on a day-to-day -day basis, because it is so easy to underestimate. So my protein clocked in at 200 grams on the dot, carbs were 155 grams, and fat was at 115 grams for a total calorie count of 2,444 calories. Feel free to like the video if you in fact liked the video because that helps us reach more folks with this information that I like to think is pretty solid. Be sure to subscribe for future content. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the comments.